Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. This is what's called a tidbit tray. Well, actually, half of what's called a tidbit tray. There's supposed to be another plate up here. About half this size. This is a dinner plate. I think it has a, a dessert plate or a saucer or something up here. And you're supposed to put uh, candy and cookies and things like this on the two different layers. That way you can move them around by grabbing the handle, picking them up off the table and carrying it around. Problem is this got put in a box and somehow or another the tidbit tray on top got broken. So for the last five years we haven't used it because it was broken and I didn't have the heart to throw it out. We st I put this plate in a box and I put the brass piece in the box with it and just kept it thinking that maybe someday I can figure out how to fix it. Well, this year we were digging through boxes and things and found this and I said, you know, this is the year that I do this one. So we went online and this is called a Holly Traditions pattern. Very Christmassy. Got a little Holly going along here. Kind of a winter Christmas. So I went online and I looked and I found a Holly Traditions pattern plate matching. Just the right size. Goes right on there. Of course it doesn't have a hole in it. So not having a hole in it means that it needs to have a hole in it for that brass rod to go through. So now I got to set up and put a hole through. Fortunately, I think I'll be able to do that. Now if I break this, it's still going to be a video, but it's just not going to be a happy ending. Now, as I showed you when I drilled the bottle, I'll put a link to the video. It's a lot easier to drill into something hard like this with one of my diamond bits if you have something to hold it in position so that it doesn't wander around because it's awful easy since this doesn't have a point it tends to skitter around on the surface so to fix that I'm going to take this piece of wood and with this you know old Sneelock old sock using that as a pad I'm going to clamp this board down and that board will hold the drill bit straight so it doesn't wander around and the socks will keep it from breaking the, the plate. Put a couple of clamps on it, drill through the pilot hole here, that'll let me drill straight down through the plate and we'll be good. But first, I have to mark the center. It's not going to look good if it's off to the one side. I mean, it might be something somebody would like, but I guarantee the person who's getting this is not going to like it if it's off the center. So this plate is seven and a half inches. So three and three quarters is radius. I'll tell you guys, not many days I do that. I put one dot down and it's dead bang in the center. Okay, that's my marking center point. Now I want to drill a hole in this board, which is a fine piece of uh, old pallet, perfect for making fixtures. Just because it's close to the right size. I have to drill a hole through it at about the right size for this drill bit. Now the drill bits don't come marked with sizes. Okay. 
the diamond drills don't come marked as to size. So I'm gonna just get out the calipers and measure it. And the shank is smaller than the cutting end because the cutting end is diamond plated, which adds thickness to it. Two fifteen, just about two forty. So quarter inch is going to work just fine. Rack, I picked it up at a flea market uh, on my way to work. Let's see, twelve years ago. It's from the the. Cleveland Twist Drill Company of Cleveland, Ohio, New York, Ohio, no, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, and London, which is pretty impressive. Made out of zinc, cools the Dickens, and old. So right now, I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole in this piece of wood. and then use that as a guide to hold the drill straight in the center of the plate. I'm going to set this up with a plate on the table near the edge so I can grab a, grab a hold of the board with the clamps. Flip these up over the edges. That'll give it two flexible clamping points. And I just line up the hole in the wood over the dot on the plate. very gently. It doesn't take much to hold it securely. This this pad gives it flexibility so that this can even out come out straight. Okay now let's see if we can drill a hole in the plate. Now I should be using a scrap piece of ceramic to try and drill the hole just to make sure I got it right. But I don't just happen to have one. Well, it's cutting. Going slowly, I don't want to overheat the plate.
just by the dust marks on the bit, I think I'm about eighth of an inch in. I should be almost through. Well, I'm going to do something. I don't know if it's going to work well or not, but I'm going to certainly try it. I have a good hole started. I can't see what that drill bit is doing. My plate's getting warm. I'm going to let that cool off a bit. Pretty well centered on the hole. It didn't skitter around at all. It's unfortunate it's going to drill right through the tag. On this plate, the tag is off to one side. I think it was made to go on a tidbit tray. And this one, the tag is right square in the center. So I'm pretty sure that we're going to lose the opportunity to see the, the tag easily. It's still going to be there, but you'll only be able to see the edges. I wonder if I put a drop of water on that. That'll give it something to cool that plate off. I'm worried about the plate expanding and cracking. Now, I still want to clamp this down. Because I don't want the plate to catch. You ever had something catch on the drill press and have it fling off. Having a china plate do that in the middle of a process like this is probably going to be a bad thing. Now there are more than likely a hundred better ways to do this. But this is what I got and this is what I'm doing. Just letting the weight of the drill motor do the work. That'll be almost through.
and we're through. Now, if we didn't chip out on the bottom, I'm golden. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I think I should have some kind of a little pad on there. Won't take much. Just a little thin something to prevent that from pinching this in the wrong spot. These are some tiny little thin ones. I don't know if they'll stretch far enough, but you know, they would provide the cushion that I'm looking for. I would love to have a little thin piece of nylon. Because then it wouldn't be bothered by washing. Oh, that's nice and secure. That's perfect. 
That is perfect. That's going to grip that china without putting a pressure point on one small area and creating a stress. That little O-ring is just going to spread out the load exactly like I want it. Well, this was a nerve-wracking process, guys. I've only drilled a few holes in glass, some more successfully than others. And this was something that, unfortunately, I was the guy who broke it. Well, tidbit tray is done. Sits straight and square. Perfect. <coughs> the little O-rings will, will let it be washed without damaging it. <coughs> well, the tidbit tray is done. It's a really stressful situation. I was the guy who broke the plate. And I couldn't find another plate to replace this one. When I found one on eBay, I bought it immediately, and then I only had one to work with. That's pretty common in this kind of work. I only have one thing to fix. I could buy a new one, but it's not fixing the old one. It's just buying a new one, replacing it. Anybody can do that. Being able to drill this, because a lot of things came together. I bought these drill bits with the idea that I was going to drill holes in glass and tumble them to make little round stones. Turns out that it works, but it's a tremendous amount of work. And I can buy little round glass stones by the hundreds. Matter of fact, I got a bag of them around here somewhere. Being able to drill this plate, it's a big moment for me. Low speed drill. Diamond bit. Some water to keep the plate cool. That seems to be a big part of it. Water to keep the plate cool and flush out the, the grit from the hole. Man, it cut a lot faster. Made me a lot less tense. Having the drills and the tools and clamping up using the guide, the guide helps a lot because in my first attempts at drilling, the, the drill bit skittered all over the glass and made a huge ugly mess. I managed to get the hole through at the time. I was just trying to make a hole through a piece of tile and it didn't matter that it was a little goofed up because the thing I was covering, putting over it was rather large. And this one has that same situation, but I only had one plate. If I broke the plate, I'm done. So, another success, very happy. If you have any suggestions for new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas. This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or the legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.